Oh. We're going back. We're not gonna... <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, I can't go any other, like, places? Something's gonna happen? It's gonna be like a cutscene? Something important? But why the fuck did they call me Mythos? They know who I am? I'm more and more curious what Odin knows. I want to know how the fuck these bastards know of what I am. Maybe they know about Ultima as well. Fuck. I have so many questions. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. I actually want to know too. Is Togo gonna be like the same like us? Ah, oh, the power of Earth. Clive has claimed a portion of Icon Titan Incense. Studying with Titan not only changes the elements aspect of Clive's magic spell, but allows access to several new Icon abilities such as Wind Up, a singular strike that increases a potential wind charge. Ability details are found in the ability. Okay. Hide your feet. Oh, I can get a fucking shield now! Tiny icon fees, icon black, can be used to fend off most incoming attack. Using square to immediately after uh, time, precision block will incisionate uh, a devastating encounter. Give me a sec, I wanna see the abilities. Don't tell me I, I need to switch one. Yup, I had to switch one. Fuck. Well, switching you. Even though you helped me stagger my enemies, but you're the weakest. So four more to go. Four more. Four more uh, uh, icons I could absorb. Okay, that's my circle buddy, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, shit, I could hold it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. What do you do? Ooh. What's this one? Oh, <laughs> oh I want that one. Oh, which one do I trade? Do I trade this one? Let me see. What was this charge again? Yeah, I'll switch it for that one. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Alicia Fairy Punch is up here to increase attack potentially. Oh, shit! Look at that! Okay, I think that's like the, like the first upgrade. Oh no, that's when. What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay, I need to block. 
or click circle when they like a parry. They're not gonna do that fucking fucking anime move. This one, holy shit! Holy fuck! Shit! Okay, we have new enemies, don't we? What the fuck is this? Muddy murderer? It's a level A. Holy shit. It's a level fucking A. Okay, I'm gonna try finding all these fucking bastards. Give me a sec. What's new? Here for another of my lectures. Yeah, what's new? What what's is new? it that you wish to learn? Let's see. Okay, what happened here? Zor power of Titan. Intervene uh Invasion of Rosalith. So it must have been this bastard that saved them. At first I thought it was Joshua. It, it kinda looked like the, the the things he's wearing right now, this guy, was like that of Joshua. I thought it was Joshua at first, but then I heard his voice. This guy knew who he was. Does he know what I am? A mythos, whatever? Study it well, Clyde. Okay, they attacked. The invasion. Wait, what's this? Titus men. Wait, who the fuck are these? The royalists. Wait, how the fuck did they get over here? Like, how the fuck they got over here? Were they working together already? Thus ends today's lesson. Not all of the nobles made out. Okay, yeah. I'm saying for you, dear. Damn it, he doesn't have it. And I think I had to do like a little bit more uh, the main mission. God damn it. I wanted to see what it looks like. Otto, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him. But she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rose area. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here. I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, <sighs> oblige her. <sighs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody Tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Completely new. <laughs> oh my god, they're already fighting. Who is she? 
studying engineering University of Canberra, she is well versed in the street secret modern of the following technology as a scholar of the twins. It means to put the knowledge to use the service of the hideaway. Okay! She's like some kind of genius! Okay, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna give me like a weapon? Shouldn't you be getting some rest? You took your time! I'm a busy man, mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. Well, I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If sick could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Give me a sec. Talk to this guy. Yeah, I want to learn Is about there something I might assist you with, Clive. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Just the same, he's like some kind of icon. God damn it. I want to learn more, the damn it. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Is he the last icon? <laughs> the Leviathan. That's who he is. The icon of the Leviathan. Wait, hey, you have what I need? Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Well, then you I want to learn more about you like did she help you out as well Blackthorn you busy what's it look like I have a commission for you from mid she requires certain tools do you think you can make them bloody hell was she planning to build with this stuff an airship I'll we'll see what I can do. Till I bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. 
and mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Oh. You, you can make something for me now? What'd you want? The sword? The grindstone. Okay. The reveal. Give me it. It'll last you a good while. Anything else? Ooh. It looks kind of badass, except the end. The hell is that at the end of the sword? Like it split off. Is that supposed to be the, the 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 finger? Like I always see like the the finger like like yeah, some kind of like a little like I don't know like a little sword on his and the end of his finger or like a like a claw like a, a ring claw whatever. Oh, I thought I was gonna pass it. Do with a good oil. It should be enough to keep. How do, Master Sid? Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Wait, can I go places now? I can. Give me a sec. I want to hunt down the, the, the bounty. Gotta know where they're at. I pretty much forgot where they're at already. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure. In hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tub and cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? 
If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion.
So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Bellas is like already making enemies with uh, his stepson, all that, and he's already making his own father Living go, uh, you know, one thing after another around here. believe that he's a traitor or something. But that's not that's not the only thing. She traded, she traded her her ex for this fucking bastard. He's like lazy. He, he he's drinking, and not only that, he's fucking weird getting this. This one fucking flower. <laughs> this one fucking flower that I don't know. He 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 really loves that he has to have a fucking a butler bring it in with a fucking tape with it. What the fuck was that? Some maybe it's like one of the kind of flower that no one could have. God damn it! So why are you here? Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth to Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, 
His life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed, days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Canberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. The thing I've been wondering is... Why? Why do you need them? Why are they gonna heal them? I thought they were like... Are they still allies? I thought they betrayed them. Well, it looks like they still like, like some here for another of my some nephews. allies. How may I help you today? I have the hey, details listen. here. Manipulated. Oh. Okay. Somehow that happens. Mistrust, applause, secretly backed, flattered. Second son of the Imperial Cemetery of the Holy Empire, a Saint Brig, the third Empress Annabelle, making him half brother of Prince Dion and Clive. His mother has evolved him in the affair to the Imperial Court since he was a small child. What the fuck this means? Oh, it's the mistrust. Are they gonna use Kupka? These fucking bastards. Support. Study it well, Clive. They're still having a fucking standoff. Wait, isn't this Elder Mother Crystals? Yeah, it has to be. Fuck. Thus ends today's lesson. It's finished outfit in a little workshop by here, with a little help from Sid. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Dalemil. 
Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's, and only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Oh, don't you fucking dare tell me my uncle's gonna die in this fucking mission. <laughs> He's gonna join with us. Fuck. I mean, like, he's not like some kind of... He doesn't have a dominant, does he? Maybe the Leviathan? He's like... He's like mostly in the seas. Shit. 